The leaks just keep getting better. For months, we've been seeing tiny glimpses of what Samsung's next Ultra flagship might look like, but now the first real images of the Galaxy S26 Ultra are finally here, and they reveal some serious design changes. From a refined camera layout to sharper detailing and new color options, Samsung seems to be stepping into a whole new design era. And trust me, if these leaks are even half true, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be one of the boldest flagships Samsung has ever made. So let's break it all down, the design, the specs, the new display tech, and everything that makes this phone a hot topic before its official launch. Hey, everyone, welcome back to Zadie ES Tech. I'm Zadie, and today, we're diving deep into everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. Let's get started. We have the first official images of the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra, this time showing the device inside a protective case. Shared by Tarun Vats on X, the image reveals the back panel of Samsung's upcoming flagship, showcasing a refreshed camera design. The leaked image displays the Galaxy S26 Ultra in a black finish, confirming several familiar design traits from earlier leaks. The phone features flat edges, subtly rounded corners, a distinct island-style camera bump housing three of its four rear, and the usual placement of the power and volume buttons along the right side. According to these leaked images, we've created some rendered images and videos using professional tools. In terms of specifications, earlier reports suggest the Galaxy S26 Ultra will come with an M14 OLED display that refers to the new generation of Samsung's OLED display technology. The M14 panel is expected to offer better brightness, color accuracy, and power efficiency compared to the previous M13 display used in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. In simple terms, the screen will look sharper, more vivid, and consume less battery, and be powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chipset in select markets. This is Qualcomm's latest and most powerful processor, designed to deliver top-tier performance. It should provide faster speed, smoother multitasking, and better AI and gaming capabilities. However, Samsung might use this chip only in certain regions, likely the US, while other regions may get Samsung's own Exynos 2600 chip. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will have upgraded camera sensors or improve image processing, but the changes aren't expected to be dramatic. Just refined performance, better low-light shots, or enhanced zoom quality compared to the S25 Ultra. While the battery capacity remains unchanged at 5,000 milliamp hours, this means Samsung is keeping the same battery capacity as last year's model, the S25 Ultra. It's a large battery, so users can still expect solid battery life, but not necessarily a big improvement in performance. Instead, the efficiency gains may come from the newer display and processor, but the Galaxy S26 Ultra will continue to feature 45 watt wired charging, the same as its predecessor of the S25 Ultra. However, some leaks hint at a potential bump to 60 watt, which, if true, would be a noticeable upgrade. Still, compared to rivals like OnePlus and Xiaomi that offer significantly faster charging and larger batteries, Samsung's improvements may feel modest. The Galaxy S26 Ultra might refine Samsung's flagship experience with better battery efficiency and potential power upgrades. Its charging technology still seems to lag behind some competitors. Unless Samsung confirms a genuine 60 watt boost, users might be looking at familiar charging speeds just paired with slightly better battery life. After years of criticism, Samsung seems ready to make a strong comeback with this processor built to rival Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite. Built on Samsung's second gen, 2M process, the Exynos 2600 promises major gains in performance and efficiency. It features a Cortex-X5 core with supporting a 7X and 5X cores, plus an Eclipse 940 GPU based on AMD's RDNA 3 architecture, offering console-level graphics and smart AI optimizations. Early Geekbench 6 results show scores around 3,309 single-core and 11,256 multi-core, outperforming last year's Exynos 2400 and even matching or beating Snapdragon's latest chips. These numbers mean faster app performance, smoother multitasking, and stronger video editing capability. However, these results are from prototype units with ideal conditions, so final numbers may drop slightly once retail models are tested. Even so, Samsung's progress is clear. With its 2M efficiency boost and advanced AI integration, the Exynos 2600 could signal Samsung's return to the top. Leaks suggest the Exynos 2600 will power most Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus models globally, while the S26 Ultra will use Snapdragon ably in the US and China, and Exynos elsewhere. If these leaks are accurate, the Exynos 2600 could be Samsung's biggest comeback yet, proving its chips can once again compete with the best in the industry. 
According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's 3X camera features a 10 megapixel sensor with an f/2.4 aperture and a 1/3.94 inch sensor size. On the other hand, the Oppo Find X9 Pro's 3X camera is on a completely different level, boasting a massive 200 megapixel sensor, f/2.1 aperture, and a 1/1.56-inch sensor. Ice Universe points out that Oppo's sensor is 6.4 times larger than Samsung's, allowing for 8.3x more light intake and a 20x increase in pixel count. In simple terms, Oppo's setup promises significantly more detail, better low-light performance, and overall superior image quality. It then asked an interesting question, which one would you choose? Sparking conversation among users about whether Samsung is starting to fall behind in the camera race. But Samsung seems to think otherwise. In another post shared by ICE, Samsung's official newsroom page proudly highlighted their 15 years of camera innovation under the tagline, Always One Step Ahead. The company emphasizes that for over a decade and a half, Samsung has continuously pushed smartphone photography to new heights, redefining what a mobile camera can achieve, especially with the power of Galaxy AI now playing a central role in editing and image processing. So, while Oppo might be making bold moves with hardware, Samsung is clearly betting on the perfect blend of AI intelligence and sensor optimization to maintain its lead. Now, the question remains, will Samsung's combination of AI and advanced image tuning be enough to stand tall against Oppo's massive camera sensor? Let's wait and see what the Galaxy S26 Ultra truly delivers when it officially launches. A creative user designed a boxy version of the S26 Ultra, and honestly, it looks stunning. The design features sharper edges and a sleek titanium-like matte finish that gives the foam an industrial yet luxurious look. What's even more interesting is that Wellman Tipster CID reacted to this concept. He shared the image on X, commenting that he personally prefers rounded corners instead of the boxy look. His post sparked a lively debate among Galaxy fans, some agreeing with CID's preference for smoother curved edges, while others praised the bold and modern boxy design for giving the Ultra series a more professional, premium aesthetic. But CID didn't stop there. In another post, he revealed a lineup of concept color options for the S26 Ultra, including a deep metallic blue, a classic matte black, and a clean pearl white. CID confidently stated, black is always the best color on phone, and you can't prove me wrong. And honestly, the black variant looks incredibly elegant with its stealthy matte finish and bold camera layout. Shortly after, another designer named Raysek Rostogi joined the conversation by sharing his own concept renders featuring the S26 Ultra in red, purple, and green color options. Each of these shades enhances the phone's striking design, giving it a futuristic and ultra-premium vibe, the kind of color range fans would love to see Samsung officially introduce. If Samsung actually takes inspiration from these fan-made renders, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could become one of the most visually impressive and stylish flagships we've ever seen. Whether you prefer the boxy frame or the rounded edges, one thing's clear, the upcoming Ultra is already turning heads long before its launch. Recently, a user on X named Sample shared the first dummy units of the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This time, several well-known Samsung leakers reacted to the post, revealing the possible colors of the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra. Ice Universe shared the post without adding any caption or comment. If Ice has shared this post, I believe these are the actual colors that will be coming to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. According to tipster Tarun Vats, Galaxy S26 Ultra dummy units leak in color. Why does it look so close to iPhone series, sparking quite a debate among fans about Samsung's design direction? Meanwhile, tipster Anthony shared some promising details about the Galaxy S26 Ultra specifications, highlighting several major upgrades. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a powerhouse featuring the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy paired with a larger vapor chamber cooling system for improved performance. It sports a stunning 6.9-inch and 14 QHD plus COE dynamic AMOLED display and even includes a built-in privacy screen feature. The camera setup is equally impressive with a 200 megapixel slash 1.4 main sensor, a 50 megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50 megapixel 5XF slash 2.9 periscope lens, and a 12 megapixel 3X telephoto lens. Powering it all is a 5,000 mAh battery with 60-watt wired charging support. 
The device offers up to 16 gigabytes of RAM with storage options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one terabytes, along with 25% faster RAM data transfer speeds, all packed into a sleek 7.9 millimeters thin body. In another post, Anthony added that integrating a built-in privacy screen directly into the device is a remarkable addition, making the S26 series even more appealing. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip built on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process with the new Orion CPU architecture. So that's everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra, and honestly, it's shaping up to be an incredible upgrade. From its sleek new design and next-gen Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip to the impressive camera setup and possible 60-watt charging, Samsung looks ready to push boundaries again. But what do you think? Do you prefer the boxy concept design or the classic rounded ultra look? And if Samsung really adds that built-in privacy screen, would that make you upgrade? Drop your thoughts below. I'd love to know what you think. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the latest and greatest in tech. I'm Zadie, you've been watching Zadie ES Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.